Haribuni cha mwilu Where nature defies gravity He discovered this place Was known as John Moto He was coming all the way from Nairobi Going to Kangundo Halikuja hapa Gari kawafa hitu kwa hitu wana Isha pone Sasa hapa cha mwilu, kuna maajabu Ju kifika kwa hii kona cha mwilu magic hill Kia kangari free hapa Badana ishuke, inajipandisha mulima Sasa, hile ingini ukimuaga maji Badana maji itademuke Maji uwe inapanda mulima Chenye naeza waeleza Kutoka hapa cha mwilu Sasa, hiyo jina cha mwilu Ina kuanga combination of two names. Na chalo na mwilu. Ndiyo ina hitwa cha mwilu. That is a short form of chalo and mwilu. So they were identical twins. But funny enough, they had married one lady. Sasa mwilu alikuwa anaishi pande hile. Na hai chalo, this side. That lady alikuwa anaishi wiki moja kwa mwilu. Ukingini anamia kwa chalo. Ndiyo ika hitwa cha mwilu. Sasa wakati walipata mtoto walianza kupigania huyo mtoto. Please the owner how to name that baby. It was difficult to name him a kamba name. Akaitwa jina ya Kikuyu. Akaitwa kama huyo. And uh, this is the, it was an administrative uh, tower which was, uh, which in the 21st century uh, there was a city to talk about the un un unstableness of the South Sudan uh, politics. So I want to show you something here. Let's go, let's go. So this is the this is the office of the governor of Machakos County that was constructed by what's the name of the governor Alfred Mutua? Yes. It was constructed by Alfred Mutua. So I don't know if it's possible to go in, but we'll show you as we ride towards the central business district. Yes. So guys, this is the office of the governor that was constructed by Alfred. Mutua, the former governor of Machakos County. Right now, I think he's the minister of Tuali, oh no, foreign affairs. I'm not sure, but I have to check that out again. I cannot tell you how much it costed, but yeah, it looks like a white house. And the funny thing is, the other side, it's like a desert. It's like a, a plain whereby there's nothing that has been constructed. There is, it's like a I, I don't know even how to explain it, but it's like a, a field, a plain field without anything, glasses, shrubs that are going, growing over there. But on the other side is one big major mega project, that is the White House. And maybe this is where by all activities of Machakos County are uh, drafted from, or maybe they are conducted from. And from the the other sides you can be able to tell the place is surrounded by hills, 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 hills all over. Uh, we saw that these hills are called Yvette Hills and uh, you know they cover a wide range of places so you can be able to tell people, a lot of people live on those hills and also they do their activities from the hill and then they go to the central business district. I want to show you uh, the central business area how it looks like so 
make sure to subscribe make sure to like comment and let me know what do you think about Machakos County? What do you know about Machakos County? Have you ever been to Machakos County? What uh, entices you or what uh, makes you want to come back to Machakos County? Yes, so we're gonna be going around, show you how the place looks like. I don't want my right to leave me, so. and then yeah, come to explore uh, the city I'll show how it looks like I wanna get some fuel and move on
Bristol Park Hospital. Kids are coming off from school, and uh, you can see how it looks like. And overlooking on the, the other side, hills, hills, hills everywhere. that we are headed to Jamuilu. Jamuilu Hills whereby there is a mystic happening that happens over there whereby water doesn't follow the rules of physics or doesn't follow gravity so guys we are going to hear the story that comes with Jamuilu 
uh, mysteries or Kiamilo stories. And guys, you can be able to say, look how the view looks like. It looks so spectacular. It looks amazing. So, uh, let's go. So we are almost there to uncover the mystery thing that happens around here. So let's go. So guys, we just arrived at Kiamuilu Hills, and uh, now we are here to uncover yeah, the, place to the mystery be, be behind Chiamuilu. Chiamuilu. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. So I have guys here. Hey. So guys, these guys are arguing over here. Let us have a banter and get to know what happens. But from the physical, from, from the history part of it, I overheard there were some uh, two brothers. There were some. Two. So guys. Uh, from the physical part of it, things go against the force of gravity, but from the historical part of it, or from uh, the story that the legends tell over here is the fact that there was two brothers who had uh, one woman who they were wooing and they decided so there was these guys are making a lot of noise guys I cannot even be able to concentrate on what I'm doing but anyway I'm trying to avoid the noise that they are making I'm trying to give you the historical part of it so there were two brothers who there were two brothers who had a, a brother. so this is the region whereby it's called Chiamuilo Hills and this is where there is you know the physics the water or defies the physical physics part of the things so there is a lot that comes with the history part of it there was two brothers as i was telling you before those guys interrupted me there were two brothers who were trying to woo a woman and uh, later they were spending the woman was spending uh, a night at each uh, brother's house and then later they decided to get a kid and uh, there was some uh, confrontation and one decided to settle on the other side of the mountain and the other one decided to settle on the other side of the mountain uh, that so the regions over here they decided to give this place uh, the, it was Kialo and Muilo so they decided to call it Chamuilo but our guide maybe is going to tell us more about uh, maybe give us a little banter and tell us more about this place yes so we want to do some uh, there was to justify the the physical part of it or the physics part of it our guide gonna tell us more about it and we are going to acquire some water to show you how you know the water defies the physics part of you know where water defies physics yes joseph yeah, I think you know more about the, the place. You can tell my people more about, you know, this stretch. Um, what I can only say about this place mm -hmm. is uh, once you pour the water down, uh -huh. as you see from here, it doesn't flow downwards. This part, mm -hmm. this section of the, the road. This section of the road. Yeah. Uh -huh. Going to this side is the going downwards. Mm -hmm. And going to this side uh -huh. is going upwards. Upwards. Uh -huh. Then, uh -huh. whenever you, you pour water, mm -hmm. the car is moving by itself. Mm -hmm. The car is free water. and it's moving by itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you pour water, whenever you pour water, uh -huh. it will just flow going back upwards, upwards. Mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, also when you are riding a motorbike or a vehicle uh -huh. you, you feel that it's going in a free free motion. gear or a free motion when you reach this 
Okay. Wow. So guys, you can be able to see the guy has poured water and uh, it doesn't flow as it is supposed to flow. It's flowing upwards. So we're also trying to make sure we don't get hit by the car. So that's how it looks like. You can be able to see. So we are trying to uncover the mystery part of, uh, you know, this place. Yes. So guys, look at, look at this mysterious happening here. So this bottle of water is rolling up uphill and it doesn't roll downhill. And also there is a car, a Jeep Langla over here that is, uh, you know, defying the force of gravity. And he's trying to push it downwards and it's not going, it's kind of using more energy to go downhill than it goes uphill. So that's how it is things are happening right here so guys if you know more about the mystery part of this uh Yamuilo hill you can also comment down and tell me what do you think about it so i'm trying to see uh, this guy is trying to push his jeep and it's trying to go uphill so look at this so the bottle is defying the for the gravity physical part of things So that's how things are over here. Whew. So look. Imagine you're just pulling your Jeep Langla, you know, and it is defying physics. Look at that. How cool is that man? How cool is that? How cool is that? No? This is the uphill side of the, the things. Or well, this is how it's not supposed to be like rolling like this. It's going uphill. It's defying the gravity physical part of it. Looking for someone who is going to give me a different perspective or what, from what I know. But anyway, there is someone who is willing to give me a little bit of history or a little bit of this mystery uh, to give me into details, you know, the uh, whatever comes with this hill. So I don't want to talk much, but basically I want to show you how the place looks like. And then, and then he gives me the full detail or he gives me that what he, what he talks about. But basically guys you can be, be able to tell it's in the middle of the hills it's in the middle of the hills it's called Chiamuilu, Chiamuilu. but basically guys i gave you a little bit of there a little bit of a uh, scientific part of it and also a legend part of it i hope it's going to give me more into details yes so so let me see he's over there i think he's going to give me the history part of it and also give me the scientific part of it and we get to see how things are but you can be able to tell there is a jeep that is being pulled and it's not going downhill it's going uphill defying the force of gravity and it's very easy to push it upwards than to push it downwards so mm -hmm. Uh, introduce yourself. My name is Alphonse. Uh -huh. I come from Chamuilu. Mm -hmm. We are nature deep in gravity. Mm -hmm. So that you give your push you can do. Uh huh. You can. Even your uh, This is going uphill. This, this one is, is going down. downhill. Uh huh. When you come to the water, mm -hmm. instead of the water flow down here, uh -huh. the water flows up. Uphill. Yeah. Uh huh. Even around Botswana, mm -hmm. with the flow of water, mm -hmm. I don't push down. It goes upward. Mm -hmm. Then you put it like a little down there mm -hmm. and then switch off the engine. Mm -hmm. can't go up. Goes upwards. Yeah. All right. Other brother Nyanze, mm -hmm. who discover uh -huh. this place. Who discover the place. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now when I did my mambo, I a contractor first round. Mm -hmm. yeah, bara bara. English, yeah? No problem. Uh -huh. The other is our. So the English is like so. All right. We are so going to, to interpret. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now we discover mm -hmm. yes. his uh, contract for first round. He bara bara iko alami. He liko ili amaram. Okay. Sasa peni ali pe job eke alami. Ali toka machakos. Aki safi we na fatu na matiro kangu ndota la. Okay. Now this is the kangu road. 
Okay. 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 Oh, so the car started rolling yeah, uphill, down, up to here. Up to here. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, ile majali kwa na kwarentieta, spone ni na dispatching, bado kwa ni na panda. So it goes upwards. Yeah, the water that you. Zungu. Okay. Ni tajio ni moto. Okay. No, jaron jio kwanza ni alikam, alikam ni ile machine, akudi samba. Sabi na di kwa ni zile miti kubwa, na juu anga kuna ile kisu na patanga chini. Okay. Magnetic fields. Yeah. So just a minute. So what he is saying is that the contractor was given the to make a to make this road. To make the road. Yeah. So as he was uh, driving up the hill from yeah. the other side, the other side, what is car overheated down there. Okay, so the car overheated and he okay. When he stopped the car down there, said of when getting up the car look here, he took a very big stone. Okay. She put it behind the car. Okay. So the car should go back. Down. So that the, it cannot go back. To fetch the motor to pull the engine. He fell the car up there. So the car roll all the way up to here, okay? And okay, what is the the legend part of it or the you know there are some stories from the elders about, about the, the yeah the place Chamuilu. the chamuilu now mm -hmm. i tell you mm -hmm. i have a two years old mm -hmm. traditional uh -huh. the, the, the place is called chamuilu the chamuilu chamuilu uh -huh. is combination of two kamba names uh -huh. combination of two names two kamba names okay even funny enough they are then confused chalo and mulu chalo and mulu they yeah. them yes. They were twins, yes. Yeah. Chalo, alikonaka kuila down. So the chalo, chalo, stood down there. Stood down there. We were up here. Up here. When he grew up, mm -hmm. he kept uh, married. Mm -hmm. They were married when he ready. So they had married one, one already. already. Two twin brothers. Two twin brothers. Yeah. They were sharing one woman. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It's called uh, Priya, eh? not polygamy, whatever Priya, something of the sort. <laughs> So, uh -huh, after there was there was confrontation between the two twins, they separated. One started living on their, their stay, upper side of the hill. We lose the up. Up yes. side. Uh huh. When you grow up, you come to marry. They are married when you're ready. Yeah. Wow. They're married when you're married and when you're ready, uh -huh. they say they're ready. Uh -huh. Stay one week from Chalo, uh -huh. one week from Milu. Milu. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good story. Uh huh. <laughs> When he come to my the the, the woman mm -hmm. he come to pregnant yes. become became pregnant yeah. yes he get a baby boy a baby boy yes. huh the baby boy mm -hmm. Chalo is starting fighting for the baby B baby we boy the baby. Oh, baby. okay they so say, Milo is, he, he, yours mm -hmm. Chalo is Chalo is mine okay because yeah. yeah. they didn't know yeah. who gave mm -hmm. you can call the father mm -hmm. it's called the son. Mm. Yeah. You can call, be called to the It's family. not to the woman. The, yes. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. Yeah. But the woman, mm -hmm. it calls them. Yes. So it's called the child, the name. The name, okay. It's not called the, the Kamba name. The Kamba name. Because it was called the Kamba name. Uh -huh. Chalo was starting again, again. Again, again. They call a Kikuyu name. Okay, so they, what? They call Kamau. Kamau. Oh, so the baby, so guys, the baby boy that was born after the twins met with one woman, they didn't call him the Kamba name. Yeah. They gave him a Kikuyu name. Yeah. Why? Because Jalo used to say the baby is for him. So because there was the confrontation between yeah. the two brothers. Yeah, yeah. Right. When he come, mm -hmm. they uh, again mm -hmm. come out with a baby, baby guy. Oh, so after? The name after Kamau, mm -hmm. they have another. They have another child. Yeah. Uh -huh. The mother called him Mwende. Mwende. Okay. You know Mwende, the campus, eh? in Kikamba, mm -hmm. the lovely one. So if you are called Mwende out there, <laughs> and in Kamba means the lovely one. So as you know, Mwende means a loved one. Wakiendele ivo, Mwilo, diali tangulia kufariki. 
yali zikwa pande ile ya kwake sasa wote hiyo family kaamia kwa chalo for some few years chalo passed away so they were left with their mother and kamau na huyo msichana alikuwa anaitwa mwende so mwende akafikisha ile umri ya kuolewa she was married at lukenya wakati aliolewa huko lukenya kaambia kamau ama make wauze hii eneo hii shamba sasa they sold the land and they moved to lukenya so wakati waliuza hii shamba kama huwa kaamia huko we believe that their spirits they are fighting for that lady so chalo mwenye ako pande hii is more powerful than mwilu sasa chalo ndiye mwenye kama huu na ya mwilu ndiye mwenye kusichana sasa scientifically what we walisema juu ya hii maneno wanasemanga sasa kuna kitu kama mineral red mercury ndio kwa underground sasa ndio wanasema ndio inafanya gravity hapa inakuwa sama ulo So I think that is the the simplest history or the the history part of it and the scientific part of it so at least we have gotten to understand what it entails and uh, yeah you know if you have never visited Chamuilo this is another place to visit and get to see you know the mysteries that comes with this country of ours yeah we wanna maybe pour water down the hill so that we can be able to see how um, it defies the force of gravity other than uh, going downhill it decides to go uphill de defying the force of gravity yeah so let us look for water and get to see the mystic that comes with yamwilu hills <laughs> So guys, we are done being explained whatever was, was happening here or what happens here or whatever happens here, it's a mystery. We will be able to, maybe if you have been able to uncover, unwind and get to understand what happens around here. So anyway guys, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video and if you have discovered something or you have learned something today, make sure to let me know and if you want to come and visit this place look it's i'm the only person who gonna plug you to these amazing places to visit so ciao see you on the next episode so guys we are in machakos town this is how machakos looks like in the evening actually it's the evening here there is some rush hour so Let's see, let's see what Machakos has to offer. This is the county number 016, governed by Wavinia Leti. Oh. So this is how Machakos town looks like. I have vlogged for you episodes and episodes. And uh, they come, the bus park. Yeah, this is the bus park. So, and the, mm -hmm. the predominant tribe in Machakos is the Kamba, right? Yeah, the Kamba, the, the large communities that are found in Machakos uh, County or Machakos town. So, it's like any other town that has the buzzers and the hassles. So, this is like the bus park. The bus park here. We are the bus park. So the bus park over here. It's in the evening, so there is movement over here. So in the middle of the bus park. Is that the movement? Time for this.
Yes. We get a time for coming to explore Machakos. Machakos town in depth. Yeah. We have explored. We have already shown them the interior of Machakos town or Machakos County where you to get water, where to do the filtration, some of the places to visit and all those, that kind of thing. So, yes, we are still ex riding around, this thing, riding and moving around Machakos. I want to show you how it looks like. Yeah, I guess we are tired, it's the fact that we, are, we have decided to use a, a bike to ride around Machakos. So yes, this is the normal Hassan bars of the city. People selling some second-hand clothes, t-shirts. Uh -huh. Machakos town doesn't look that big, doesn't look that congested, doesn't look that busy as compared to other cities like Mombasa, Nairobi, you know, Kisumu, all those cities that I have been able to visit. So, yeah, but it still has its own uniqueness, especially uh, there are some hills that are uh, surrounding the area. The hustle, the hustle has to continue. The hustle has to continue. People selling clothes. Yo. The hustle has to proceed, has to continue. Midi Bingo Street, like the one that is in Nairobi. Cos gay. Paul gay. Oh. So if you have never known or discovered like streets, most streets here in Kenya are named after prominent people. This is the market area. This is the market area. So this is the market area. The hustle has to continue, you know? Kenyans are hustlers. Anything to make money. So the biggest market is inside there. Okay, so. Chakos in them. Chakos. When you have time. Look at the view, look at the view from up here. So that is the Machakos market. Yes, we, we, we're not going to get in. So, right now it's very late. But look at the view in front of us. When you're walking downhill, you can be able to see a very nice view of the hills, Iveti Hills. Oh, Nyamakima Hills. One hill. You know, when you pronounce it another language, another accent, it becomes a little bit difficult. Kariobangi Warfare CB, CBO. Look at this man. We will come and explore Machakos in real time, in big time. And it's a reservoir. 
street food, wow, okay. fish, chapais. Telling, telling me, I love the street food. Hmm? <laughs> Do you love the street food, sir? Yeah. Man, I'm very sensitive. In fact, my stomach is crazy. My I stomach. love street food. Yeah, we are back in CBD. Back where we started. So this is the market area, open air market. So this is like an open air market. So yes. Whenever you want to, you wanna get your own things in the evening. I think this is the best time to buy your own stuff. It's like it's it has the vibe of every city where they have like open air market. They have uh, hawkers. You know small SMEs people trying to sell their goods you know yeah so that's how things are man so we are going to the bus never oh, supermarkets Naiva Big supermarket. Tea Tot Hotel. What a day of exploring Machakos in real time. Naiva supermarket. They have so many branches. Yeah. Now this street is one what? Yeah? Yeah you go. Wow, we have KFC at Machakos. Wow. Ah, KFC. That's the level five hospital. Yeah. yeah. Machakos level five. How else we can enter to the stage? So guys, it's been a day of exploring Machakos County. We have gone around seen a lot of things a lot of sceneries it's been a day a fruitful day so if you have enjoyed those episodes make sure to subscribe to the channel like share comment share it with your friend and wanna see you on the next episode so ciao have a good one